For the countertop, we want to keep going with the wood idea. So we are going to use the pallet innards to make a butcher block countertop for the van. Take your order, please. In building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We would welcome you to be a part of our family for this week's adventure. I think what we do is we just get the table saw out here and just start ripping them down and then we'll piece it together like a puzzle. I was about to think of. That sounds good. We do so much with the pallet and slats, but we end up throwing out a lot of the insides of the pallet. Um, they just I don't know, we don't have know what to use them for. Mm -hmm. So I'm really curious to see how it goes working with them and making something so like, ooh, front and center <laughs> with the yeah. gun nerds, but it's gonna be really fun. Have all the pieces cut to length and width. Now I'm just gonna run everything through the disc sander to try and make the final product that much more perfect. I think that's all I'm gonna do. That'd be fast. Well, I plan on making a massive mess. So, tarps are going down. Well, I don't need that much space, but hey. If you're making a massive mess, you gotta have a massive tarp. That's a good point, dear. Got our wood glue. Paintbrush. We need our wood. Okay, and I did uh, go through and number all these too. Oh, that's smart. If you know. If you trip on the way over. Yeah. That's... Or drop a piece. I know where it goes, you know. I forgot that I'm gonna lay this out upside down so that it sits flat because it's not gonna all be flat on both sides. Smooth. I guess we might as well lay it out like this so we can see it, even though we do have to flip it around. Okay. Oh, 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 that's already looking so sweet. Oh, that's gonna be so cool, babe. Yeah. Oh, hey, is it? You wanna help me make a massive mess? I think that means yes. You fixing my uh, orientation? Cause I got a little wrong. But we have to see what it looked like before we glued it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'll see. Okay.
Look at this mess. You delivered. You made a big mess. I did, yeah. I always do what I say. That is an awesome looking contraption though. Yeah, I think so too. Let it dry, pull it apart, and see if it falls apart. <laughs> Second, it fell apart. Look how much glue is on there. What's the plan now? Well, I'm kind of nervous, but we gotta flip it over and see what the pretty side looks like. <laughs> Alright, it's not that heavy. Oh, that looks cool, babe. Yeah, not bad. Oh, it looks so cool. Should we pull the clamps off and see if it falls apart? Oh gosh, I guess so. Okay. What are you doing? Can the clamps off, Azalea? Yeah, you want to help? Oh boy. Last one up. Here we go. Face together and everything. Looks like a countertop. Break off these uh, little boards I have on here. Yeah. Well, should we put it up on some sawhorses and see how it sands? Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Dang, that is sweet. Our sanders that we had, not cutting it. So I just ran down to the store and picked up a little hand-held belt sander here. I guess there's no time like the present. Get this thing flattened out. Countertop's coming out great. Um, there are a few spots though where we had a little bit of a drop in one of the wood pieces and it creates a big dip that I'm not gonna try and sand out and smooth out. So instead I'm gonna just go through and glue another chip of wood in and then sand it back out to level. So just gonna essentially fill the hole. Should we open our sink? Yeah. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah, my knife is pretty sharp. I need to sharpen it. What's in there? Oh, I think we gotta get these off. Man, that looks nice. Oh, it's pretty, isn't it? That's gonna be perfect, isn't it? I think so. Ah, it's so exciting. It's just in there. We're gonna put this kind of like at a bit of an angle here, three and a half inches away, and 19, we add an inch and a half, so 21 and a half. So three and a half by 21 and a half is where the edge of the holes for that faucet. 21 and a half by 
two inches. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's just chop some holes now, huh? Oh, that's a beautiful sound chop. Okay, so that is where this bad boy sets. Got some screws for Dad. Oh, thank you. That hole there, and then this guy will sit in there. Are we ready? I think so. Are you? Honestly, I am just shy of terrified. <laughs> Two nails in here that just did not want to let us go through. First try. Man, that looks so cool. <laughs> Should we drill the hole for the faucet? Yeah. Man, I hope I drilled the right size hole. That looks a little small. Oh no. Man, we are on a roll today. Oh man, that looks so good. We really should set this whole unit in there and make sure that everything fits yeah. like in our cabinet. Wiser idea. Wow. Uh -huh. Is that it? Oh. It doesn't fit right now because I forgot I had to cut these trim back. I left it long so we could fit it in nice and flush. But this piece we can at least get in there. Imagine that in there. We're gonna try this, Tether. We don't know if it's too dark or not. This is the piece that we cut out for the sink, so this will be our test piece. We don't want red, do we? I don't think so. Try ragging it. Get the top of there. Is that what you were picturing? That's more what I was picturing. I don't know if that's good, though. I don't know, it looks dirty almost. I kind of wonder if we're going to be able to get away with staining it at all. Let's see what other stains we have in here, huh? What is this? Well, let's go try it, huh? We bought this one for the van too, didn't we? Yeah, we did. It was too dark for the walls, remember? We were worried about it getting dark in there. Oh, is that what it was? Mm -hmm. That might be all it needs. I think with the cherry, it's gonna be as dark as the darkest piece on the wall, which is perfect. This turned out so pretty, babe. I love your butcher block idea. I think we're just gonna let the stain dry now and then we'll come back out and start getting the ceiling coats into it.
that came out fairly good. Very pleased. Shall we chuck her in the van? I'm gonna come on the side. All notched out now. That looks pretty good, babe. She's installed as far as countertop goes. Where'd they go? Alright, sink. As you can tell, we really loved the way the countertop and the van turned out. We have a merchandise shop with a lot of different designs that you can get on t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies. So if you're interested in any of that, there'll be a link down in the description to the Milan Homestead shop. Mom and Dad are going to be doing some really cool work with Aircrete, and that's going to be coming out this Friday, so be sure to come on back here and check that out. We really appreciate you guys watching and hope to see you Friday. Bye! Oh, look at you! That's cool! You fit right in there! <laughs> yeah, oh, you wanna shut the door on yourself? You ready, honey bunny? Yep. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Ah! <laughs>